Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. So guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to export all your Clockify time entries to Google Sheets automatically, right? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the process by which you can automatically transfer the data of time entries from your Clockify application into your Google Sheets, right? So I know you guys started wondering why would anyone want to do this? Let me tell you. Suppose that you are using this Clockify application and here you can create time sheets and time trackers by which you can find out the time consumed by you and your team for various tasks on different projects, right? So here you can create projects and keep the track of the time consumed in different projects on any given date, right? So you are having here time entries for different projects, right? And you want to know about the time consumed in different projects and you want to save that data here in a spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheet application for the record purpose or for brainstorming session or to create reports for any reason you can do this. Now by the process that I'm going to explain in this video, you can automatically transfer the data of new time entries from Clockify application to Google Sheets in a new row, right? This can happen guys and to make this happen, I'm using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software and it will connect these two applications together such that whenever you have a new time entry here for any of your project in Clockify application, the data of that time entry will be automatically transferred to your spreadsheet in Google Sheet in a new row, right? And guys, the best part of making this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this automation is going to work in real time and how you can also make this automation. So guys, this is my computer screen. Here you can see I'm in my Clockify's dashboard. Okay. So here you can create time trackers and time sheets to keep the track of the time that you are spending on your project projects and your work. So we have a few projects here. Let me show you. So these are the projects. Okay, sorry. These are the projects I have, the Sigma project, the vaccination and this. Okay. So I have created a time tracker here. And here we are tracking the time we are spending on these projects. So whenever I enter manually or automatically the time sheet here, update the time tracker here, the data will be transferred here automatically in this spreadsheet like this. Okay, in a new row. So these are the project's name, the start time, the end time and the working hours. Okay, so let me show you this. So I'm selecting my project first. Okay, this vaccination project. And here I'm going to select the date on which I have worked on this project. So let the date be 27th, right? And now I'm manually entering the details, how much time we have worked on this project. So I'm putting the time as like this. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I'm adding this details here in my time tracker. You can see the time entry has been created here in Clockify, right? Now let me check on my spreadsheet that we get the data here also or not. So you can see in my spreadsheet, a new row is added automatically here with the project's name as vaccination, the start time, the end time and the working hours. You can see three hours and 58 minutes. Okay, so it automatically calculated here and filled up here in this column D, right? So now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this data here in spreadsheet from Clockify automatically without any manual engagement. So let me give you, so let me show you the process by which you can also make this automation. So guys, in your internet browser, you have to type here P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is pavli.com, okay? And it will open up the landing page of Pavli. Right from here, you have to put your cursor on this products icon and click on Pavli Connect. Right, and from here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. Okay, which I have already done, so I'm going to click on sign in directly. Right, and from this all apps section of Pavli, you have to come to this Pavli Connect panel and click on access now, and this will bring you to the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this, right? 
And guys, to start working here, you have to create workflows like this. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on a create workflow button on the top right corner. You can see click on it. And here you have to give a relevant name to a workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have filled the name as this send clockify time tracking data to Google Sheets, right? Now click on create here and your workflow will be created like this. And here you will see these two things first the trigger and the action. So Pabli Connect work on these things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pabli Connect do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new time entry in a Clockify time tracker. And the action would be is to send the same entry into our Google Sheet, right? So first of all, you have to click here on this trigger window. And from this choose app, choose your application as Clockify. Okay. Click on Clockify and here in this trigger event, select new time entry option. Okay. Okay. And it will generate this URL. So this is called as a webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to connect our Clockify application with Pavli Connect. Okay. So you can uh, read the instructions to do that. Let me show you the process. Uh, first of all, you have to go to your Clockify applications dashboard. Okay. From here, uh, click on this picture icon on the type top right corner like this, and then click on profile settings. Okay. And here you will find this, uh, when you scroll down, you will find this webhooks option and here it is written manage webhooks. So click on manage webhooks. Okay. From here, you can create a new webhook for that. Click here on create new webhook button right here, right? So here you have to give a name to a webhook. So I'm filling the name here as timesheet spreadsheet, let's say. Okay. And in this endpoint URL here, you have to paste the webhook that you got here in public connect. So click on copy here. Okay. And paste this webhook URL here in this endpoint URL field like this. And in this events field, select the event as this time entry created manually and in bracket me. Okay. Select this option. Then click on create. Okay. So a new webhook is created and saved here in clockify. And you can see in public connect, as in when I clicked here on webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response, right? So now it is time to do a test submission. That means we are going to manually add a new time entry in Clockify and the, the data of that time entry will be captured here in Pavli Connect automatically. Let me show you. So I'm going to my Clockify application again and I'm opening the time tracker, right? So select our project. So I'm going to select this Zehan construction project here. And uh, let us enter the date first. So I want to try tag track the time of working at 28th of November, right? So let's say on 28th of November, on this project, we have worked from uh, 9 a.m. Okay. <clears throat> Till let's say 14, 7 or 2 p.m. Right? From this time to this time. So I'm adding this time here. Okay, so we have created a new time entry in Clockify. Let's check in Pavli Connect if the data is captured. And you can see the data is here, right? In this data, you can see it's, it is it is showing the time interval start like this, time interval end like this, and the time inter interval duration like this. So guys, uh, you can see in this time interval start, it is showing the time as 3.30, but we have put the time here as nine o'clock, right? As you can remember, but it is showing here three thirty because Pavli Connect captures the time data in UTC format or universally converted time format. So we are going to change this time format. For that, what you have to do? Click here on this action step, and from this choose app, choose your application as date time formatter. Okay, this is date time formatter. And in this action event, select this format date with time zone option. 
then click on connect here okay so now it is asking which date you want to convert so here you have to select this date you have to map this date actually time interval start okay so to map this you have to click here on this date field and you will find this clockify new time entry option click on it and map the time time interval start date from here like this okay so now it is asking from which format you want to convert so you can select uh, select the from format which is this only you can see in this time format we have a t in between okay between this date and time we have this t so you can see in this format we also have this t so this is the format select this and now it is asking to which format you want to convert so let me select the format <clears throat> let's say that we want to convert this time date and time in this uh, month date year format okay so i'm selecting this here and from this from time zone field you have to select this utc option utc this is utc okay and then after uh, into two time zone we want to select asia kolkata because we want to convert this uh, time zone into indian standard time zone so for that you have to select here asia slash kolkata this is asia kolkata select this then click on save and send test request here okay so you can see the time is converted like this and here you can see it started showing nine nine, nine o'clock that's what what we have filled in clockify right and this is the date format right so uh, we want to apply the same step same process for the end time as well so you just have to clone this step you no, need not to apply this step again just click here on clone step option and click on clone now okay so this step is cloned successfully now what you have to do in this step just click here and change this date time start interval time interval start just change this to time interval end which you will find here in clockify this time interval end label click on it and map it right and click on save and send test request and you can see here in this result the end time get also converted into indian standard time format right like this okay so before the time was this 8:37 and after conversion started 14:07 right or 2 o'clock and guys we also want the duration of this whole process the duration of the work also that we want to put here in our spreadsheet here the working hours so for that you can see in this first step in clockify where we have captured the data you can see here in the response we got this time interval duration but we got this string here this pt5h okay so from this pattern we go, we are going to extract our working hours for that what you have to do uh, scroll down and click on this plus icon and from this choose app choose application as text formatter by pavli okay this is text formatter and in this section event select extract pattern option okay then click on connect here and here in this text we are going to map this string that we got from the first clockify step this string okay for that what you have to do come back to the step click on this field then click on clockify okay and here you will find this uh, time interval duration string map it right and then it is asking for the pattern so to get the pattern out of that string what you have to do you can uh, click here to see the uh, regular expressions needs to fetch the data out of the string you can see the regular expressions in this sheet and here you have to put this expression only you can see slash d plus just copy this paste it here okay then click on save and send test request like this and you will see that from this pattern we have extracted the data it is showing five and seven this means it is five hours and seven minutes of work okay 
So now we want to send this data to our spreadsheet. For that, what you have to do, click on this plus icon again. And uh, from this choose app, choose your application as Google Sheets. And in the section event, select add new row, okay? Then click on connect here. And from this window, select add new connection option. Then click on connect with Google Sheets. So from this window, it will ask for the uh, email ID by which your sheet is connected, sheet application is connected. So you have to select that email ID. So select that email ID from this window. And now it will ask for the access to update the sheet. So give the access, click on continue here like this. Okay. And you will see the authorization is successful. And we are connected with our spreadsheet, which we have in Google Sheets application. Okay. So from here, from the select spreadsheet field, you have to select the spreadsheet which you want to update. So we have this spreadsheet. The name is Clockify. Okay. So click here on this uh, list and from here, select your spreadsheet like this Clockify. And in the select sheet, you have to select the sheet. So we have two sheets here. One is timesheet and sheet two. So I am selecting this timesheet here from this field. Okay. Now it is asking for these details now. The project, the started and so the project's name here we are going to map the project's name and you will find that from this option let me show you click here click on clockify okay and here you'll find all the data that we have captured from clockify so this is the project's name click on it and in the started field we are going to map the start date which we have converted from this date time formatter step right so click on it and you will find the date and time as well click on it and from this end date field, select this third time date time formatter where we have converted the end time map it. And this working hours, you will find the working hours from this fourth number text formatter option where we have extracted the pattern, where we have extracted the working hours out of a pattern, right? So select, click on it. And here you will find this result five hours. Okay. So I'm putting a colon here and mapping the minutes also and you will find the minutes seven minutes okay now you can see we have five rows now in our spreadsheet and here i'm going to click on save and send test request and you can see it started showing this kind of response here now let's check my spreadsheet again and you can see we have a sixth row added here automatically saying Zehan construction, start date and date and the working hours, five hours and seven minutes, right? So we have updated our spreadsheet by clicking here on save and send test request. This means our connection with spreadsheet is working fine. And our workflow is completed. Let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in this trigger window, we applied Clockify application first. With the help of this URL, we connected it. Then we do a test submission by adding the by adding the time entry in the time tracker in Clockify and capture the data like this. After that, I applied date time formatter to convert the dates and time we got from UTC to IST like this. Okay. And then I cloned this step for the end time as well. After that, from this text formatter, I have extracted the time duration out of this pattern that we got from the first step, right? After that, we want to add the same data into Google Sheet. So I connected Google Sheet and map the details that, that we want to send. And when I clicked on save and send test request, you have seen a new row is added here, right? Now you just have to click on save. And we are going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this using this automation instantly. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the redpebly.com. You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.